Hello and welcome to another one of MacDeck Engineering's informative Mastercam videos. I'm Dave Matuzic. I'm the trainer here at MacDeck Engineering. And today I'm going to talk about importing files from another system. I'm asked this question quite a bit in class. And we get asked this quite a bit uh, on the phone. How do I bring in a file from SolidWorks, AutoCAD, perhaps a IGES file that was sent to me or a STEP file? How do I go about doing that? And it's pretty simple in Mastercam X. So I'm going to go down to my Mastercam X4 down here. And I have my basic screen, and I don't have any, any file loaded right now. And I'm just going to go to File Open. And I have some files I have, I'm going to import here saved in a folder. I'll just go to that folder. And you see, I don't have anything in here right now. At least it appears that there's no files. And the reason is, is my file type down here is set to Mastercam X. I'm going to come down, and I might go here, and I'm going to go down to AutoCAD files, DWGs, DXFs, DWFs. And you can see I have two DXF files here. So I'm going to click here and open up this DXF file. And there you go, it's been brought into Mastercam. And I have line and arc geometry, just like I'd have in Mastercam. I get my drafting geometry. If you go down to my level here, it's all on one level. Unnamed level one, that just happens to be what happens when you bring in a DXF file. Now let's say I want to bring in a different file type. I'll just go File, New. Don't want to save that. And I'll go back to Open and Import Files. Stay set to AutoCAD. Let's say I want to bring in an IGES file. So I'll come down here and I'll look for IGES. I don't really recommend people bring in IGES files if they can help it. If you can get a, if it's line art, line drawings, lines and arcs, DXF works a little better, I think. And if it's a solid model, get a step file if you can. So I'm going to bring in an IGES file. And there we go. There's a very basic IGES file. And I'll do one more. I'm going to do a step file down here. Then I'll talk a little bit about um, a little bit about SolidWorks files. So I'm going to go down here. Where is step, step, step? If you can't find it, you can always just click on all files. And you'll see it right in here. Intro 5 step. And I'll go to my options. And you can see, when you bring in a solid model system, something from a solid modeling system, a step file, pro e file, a uh, SOLIDWORKS file, you have an option to bring it in as either solids or trim surfaces. And if I didn't have Mastercam solids, I'd probably want to bring it in as a trim surface model. But I do have solids, so I'll bring it in as a solid model. And there's my step file imported right into Mastercam. I got a few other options when I bring in uh, solid models here. So let's go uh, File New. And I'm going to bring in a SolidWorks file because there's a lot of things I can do with a SolidWorks file when I bring it in that I can't do with, uh, with other uh, file formats. So I'll bring in my uh, s uh, SolidWorks file. This is a very basic import just clicked on it, opened it up, and it came right in. But I have a wireframe on this job right now. If I went to all wireframe, I'll just change the color of it so you can see it. It put a curve in each edge of this model. So that's what this green is. That's just a line, arc, or spline at every edge. I personally don't like that don't like those to come in with my model. I'll make my own edge geometry if I want to later. So again, I'll go File, Open, Import Files. I'll go here and I'll go to my Options. And all your solids have this option here. Do I want to bring it in with edge curves or not? So I'll just uncheck edge curves. I'll hit OK and hit OK. And it brings it in as a solid model, as you see, does not have any wireframe on it. And if I wanted to put my own wireframe on, I could. 
Another thing I could do, just like any other system, when I bring this in, is bring it in as a surface model if I don't have solids. So right now, instead of a solid model, this is a surface model. Okay. Now, one cool thing I can do that I can't do with other systems at this time is bring in a SOLIDWORKS model with its history. I do have to have SOLIDWORKS on the same computer as Mastercam though. So I'll turn on this Import Solid History. And you may see very down here at the lower left it says please wait connecting to SOLIDWORKS. This takes a few moments because it has to read SOLIDWORKS data. Okay. Okay, and now for the magic of television and video editing, my parts come in. It, that actually took about, uh, looking at my watch, about 45 seconds. I just don't want to have, have you sit here and uh, wait quietly while we waited for the model to come in. So I'm going to switch my view up here to isometric. And you can see it brought in some wireframe with it, even though I didn't have wireframe checked, but it's good wireframe. If I bring up my operations manager and go to solids, you'll notice it brought in all my solids data. Well, what's the good thing about that? Well, let's go here to our extrude here, and I can modify this model now. Instead of 325, I'll make that 375 and regenerate my model. I'll come in here, make that point 150. Fills it in there. I could come in here perhaps, I can suppress holes. Maybe I don't even want to extrude that at all. Put that back to 325. Clips that back. Turn those back on. So I have all my modeling tools that I have in Mastercam on my SOLIDWORKS model. So it's a pretty handy thing to go to bring in your uh, SOLIDWORKS data and also it tells me what these holes are. Where otherwise it'd just be holes in the part. Now I know they're 3 16 holes or these are capped holes because it's reading the hole wizard data for me. So that's a really cool thing you can do with a SOLIDWORKS file. Also with Mastercam it has a whole slew of file formats it can read. Most of these are included with Mastercam. Some of them, such as the CATIA and Pro-E Pro converter, are not included with Mastercam in their uh, separate add-on. So if you need those, please give us a call and we'll help you get a quote on that. All right, well, I thank you for watching my video and I hope this answered some of your questions about importing a file into Mastercam. Thank you and have a great day.